Iran's aerospace capabilities in a glimpse. The IRGC's Aerospace Force hosted Press TV in this exhibition, which offers a timeline of Iran's advances in the aerospace sector. The story of Iran's self-sufficiency in the defense industry began with this missile, dubbed Escot, which Iran imported from Libya in the thick of Iraq's war on the country in the 1980s. No country would sell any defense equipment to Iran at the time, since the Islamic Republic was facing another challenge, the U.S. arms embargoes. We did not have a missile, not even a single one, during the Iraqi war on our country. This is why Iraq was targeting us with a flow of missiles it purchased from other countries. We could not retaliate with missiles because U.S. sanctions prevented us from buying any foreign arms. In 1984, the great martyr Mr. Tehrani Mugattam brought three Scott missiles from Libya into Iran in a complicated plan, and this kick-started our missile program. Starting from clones of Escot, Iran now produces this long-range missile, Emad, all on its own. But how? Iran did not look at the U.S. sanctions as a threat, but as an opportunity to test its domestic capabilities. Ten years after importing the Libyan missiles, we managed to produce its Iranian version, and today we are producing a variety of missiles with different ranges. But perhaps even more interesting than the story of missiles is the epic of drones. In less than a decade, the term UAV grew from an alien word to a key word in Iran's airspace. This hunted American drone, dubbed RQ-170, has all the story. In 2011, our experts in the cyber warfare unit hacked this so-called beast of Kandahar and brought it down in our northeastern borders upon its entry into our airspace. If we were to shoot it down, we could have done it long before 2011, but we decided to capture it without any damage. We reverse engineered it and built a stronger, more capable copies of RQ-170. Not only did the triumphant hunt lead to the production of reverse engineered clones of RQ-170, but now Iran makes these beasts, called Shahed-129. Shahed-129 is one of the most capable drones we have recently added to our domestic UAV fleet. It flies at an altitude of more than 24,000 feet. It has a range of 2,000 kilometers and is capable of conducting both reconnaissance and combat missions. It can carry four seeker bombs at the same time. The smart bombs lock onto any hostile target and destroy it. These are the reassembled remains of RQ-4A Global Hawk, the most expensive American surveillance drone that Iran shot down in 2019, using its domestically developed missile system, dubbed Third of Khordad. In the near future, its Iranian clone will be unveiled. In four decades, and amid the toughest sanctions imposed by the U.S., Iran's Air Force grew from a mere importer to a manufacturer of high-tech defense equipment like these UAVs. Iranian military officials say, thanks to the U.S.'s arms embargoes, the country's security is no longer tied to foreign arms. Yusuf Jalali Prostevi, Tehran.